hello, good morning everybody and welcome to our 17th virtual Vine Tots get together. Now we really do look forward to the day when we can welcome you all in person back into the church again and have all your toys and activities and all the fun stuff out and enjoy spending time uh, together with you. But until that day we're going to carry on meeting like this through the screen. So shall we get going today then? Can you tap your knees and we will sing the hello song together. Here goes. Let's sing hello together, let's sing hello together, let's sing hello together. We're glad you came today. Hello, good morning everybody. Hello everybody. How are you today? We've got a new story today and it's called no more storm and it's a story about jesus when he was out with his friends so jesus and his friends were riding in a boat what do people say when they're in a boat used to say land ahoy if they could see any or or yo ho ho in the olden days when there were probably lots more boats i don't know but anyway they were riding in their boat and the waves just rocked the boat gently backwards and forwards have you ever been in a boat where it's just nice and gentle and calm and you can see around and it's lovely and Jesus was with his friends in the boat, but he fell asleep. And then the wind started blowing quite hard. And I don't think this was a terribly big boat. And the wind was blowing the boat. And the waves were crashing against the boat. Now, this isn't quite so good, is it? It's... If the waves were crashing against the boat, you'd be rocking backwards and forwards and you'd be perhaps falling over. And they were getting quite scared because they were out in the middle of the sea. And, yeah, it was it was quite scary. And you could imagine, you try and imagine what that must be like. It must be a little bit, a little bit scary. But they got Jesus with them. So they thought, well, we, we can't cope with this. This is, this is awful. So they... They just woke Jesus up in the end and said, wake up, Jesus, wake up. Look at the storm that's crashing around us. And we're all quite scared. Wake up, wake up. And Jesus woke up. And he said, he just shushed the wind. Shh, shh. And he told the waves to be still. And everyone was safe. Isn't that marvellous how Jesus could command the waves to be still? And he brought peace on the boat again. And everybody was okay. Thank God. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you. See you again soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Hello to you all, and today, what do you think this is going to be? Doesn't really look like the sea, does it? But that's our Sea of Galilee, and in a few minutes, we're going to see if we can make a boat together like this. So if the grown-up, your mummy, or even your daddy, would like to find a sheet of paper like that, you can pause it for a minute and then when we have our story we can make the boat together now Val told us that Jesus got on the boat with his friends and here's our boat and we're going to put it on the Sea of Galilee and what happened to Jesus he laid down and he went fast asleep can you do that and he was so tired because he'd been working hard all day. He'd made lame people 
walk, the blind eyes to open, and people to hear. No wonder he was tired. And so he got in the boat, and the sea was nice and calm, and it rocked him to sleep. But then what happened? Later on, the wind began to blow. Can you blow? And the rain came down. Can you make the rain come down? And the boat, what's happening to the boat? Oh, and the friends on the boat are getting very, oh, very worried and very fearful. And they wake Jesus up. And when Jesus stands up, he said, shh, wind. Can you do that? Shh, wind. And waves, be still. And the sea was calm again. Shall we give Jesus a clap? Well done. And now we're ready to make our boat. So perhaps you can find your piece of paper while I put my Sea of Galilee on the floor. And fold that over there. And here is our paper. I know this one I've made a boat and I've done it again. Now what we're going to do is fold our piece of paper in half. And where that crease is down there, can you press your finger right down there? So it's really, really nice and straight and good. And then when you've done that, pick it up and fold it over again. And go down the crease because the crease is what really makes your boat really wood. And now look, we've got like a little book. Open. Open it up. Lay it flat again. And now with your finger, can you put it in that crease and bring this piece up? Mummy or a grown-up can help you. And then you flatten that down really, really hard. And then you do the same with this side. Put your finger there and press it down really, really hard. Ooh, what does it look like now? It's got a point on the end. We're not making an aeroplane, are we? We're making a boat. Now these corners, can we fold those right down to meet the other one, that side, and the one this side too. Nice creases, and then we're gonna turn it right over like that, and press right down there, and right down there. And now we're gonna turn it over, because we've got this side to do the same. So one corner down here, and press, one here and press, and over we go again. There we are, now what have we got? Well, it could almost be a little hat. Well, it could, because if you open it up, like so, there's your hat, but, and also if you open it that way, look, it could be a mouse and say, hello. And now we're gonna flatten it down, right down, and go all around those corners again. And now we've got a square. And now we're going to fold that up to the top and turn it over. And now we're going to turn him over there. Then we're going to turn it right over again and fold it up to the top again. And press it down really hard. And now we've got another little hat, smaller than ever. So we'll open it up again. Can you see? Smaller still. And now we're gonna, we've really got to press it down hard this time. Really, really hard. And we've got even a smaller square. Now if we turn it up the other way, hopefully I've done it right. And we press and we press and we press right down. Push that in there. And can you see how the boat's coming together now? Make sure the creases are really well down. If you turn it over, look, you should have a little gap there like that. And you'll see where that's going to be in your boat in a minute. And now we'll open our boat up. See that? What's that little bit in the middle? Can you see? And there's our boat. And now we'll experiment, shall we, with our boat. Shall we see if our boat will float? So first of all, I shouldn't have taken, I needed to take that off. 
I better put something on the table because I may make a mess. And here's our Sea of Galilee with water in it. Shall we put our boat in there? And I think I might put a little duck in that side. Ooh, ooh, he's got wet. Perhaps I should put a duck both sides. And they're blown. And you can see if your boat will float. Now, to, our paper boat has got very wet and very soggy, so it won't last very long, will it? But if you've got wax paper, that's the best thing to make your boat half. But I haven't got wax paper. So, before I started, I covered my boat with a wax crayon all over. And here it is finished, look. And now we'll try my wax boat on the water and see if that's better than our soggy one, shall we? Let's have a go. And do you think I should put little ducks in? I think we could put a little duck in, one this side. And if he does fall out, the duck can swim, can't he? So there he is in there. And there we are. Can you see the in there? And let's blow. It's turning round. And now I'm going to take it out. And you can see what I mean about the wax paper. Even though it's gone inside, over here, look, it's not so bad, is it? So, if you want to make a boat, Perhaps you could make one, another one, and when you have a bath, especially if you have a bubble bath and put it in the water and blow, you'll have a great time, won't you? Bye-bye. See you another day. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Val and Kathleen. And I really do hope a lot of you... Um, get your grown-ups to help and make one of those lovely boats and have fun playing maybe in the bath later. Uh, but now it's time for our songs and we've got two very special little boys who are going to help us again today. They are Noah and Joshua and they've um, helped me out with the songs already for three weeks I think but they're here again today. Mum has sent me a video in and uh, I wonder can we all sing together? Can you sing along with Noah and Joshua to The Wheels on the Bus? Here goes. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all day long. The bell on the bus goes ding, 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 ding. The bell on the bus goes ding, 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 all day long. The driver on the bus goes move on down, move on down, move on down. The driver on the bus says move on down all day long. Oh, thank you so much, boys. I love it when you send your videos in because sometimes uh, you sing parts of songs that I've not heard before. The driver on the bus says move on down. I've never heard that one before, so thank you very much again. So I believe Noah and Joshua are going to sing us another song. And this is one that I don't think you um, have heard of before. Certainly a lot of you won't have heard of. It's called How Did Moses Cross the Red Sea? Now this is a Bible story and I don't even think we've done it in my top before. We kind of went right up to where that was about to happen, but we've never actually done that story. But maybe this song is going to give you some clues as to what happens, how Moses did cross the Red Sea. So I'll put the words on the screen um, so you can sing along if you'd like to. But take it away, Noah and Joshua. <laughs> Oh, 
two stories today, haven't we, about the weather. First of all, we heard that Jesus went, shh, and turned to the mountain. And now we just heard, heard that God blew with his wind. Amazing. God can control the weather. Amazing. Anyways, shall we say our goodbye song? And we'll see you again for another week. So here goes. Do you know what? Because you can't see my hands, I'm going to tap my shoulders this time, but you guys can tap your knees at home. So let's get tapping. Here goes. Well done. Let's sing goodbye together. Let's sing goodbye together. Let's sing goodbye together. We're glad you came today. 